Quarter Ninja presents Hello and welcome to Quarter Ninja Slayer. Maybe you didn't see it, but if you look in front of you, you see that big banner that says Quarter Ninja Slayer. So we are there at the moment. Uh, what we are doing here, we are playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 and we are doing playthrough, trying to find out how fast uh, and you know how efficient we can go from level 1 to level 50. And actually it is quite uh, a tough job uh, why we are pushing levels, because it's uh, rewarding in a way that you see we have all these nice upgrades that are going to be very useful in the future some of them we are using now in previous episodes we moved from level 1 to level uh, 17 and today our goal is to move at least two levels up as always uh, i will try to talk a little bit about what we are doing how we are thinking about the jobs and what is the best way to progress so of course, if you like uh, my videos, if you like what I'm, I'm doing, please, you know, hit that like button and subscribe, bu subscribe button. Um, it will uh, mean a lot to me and I hope it's not a big deal for you. So until now, we managed to uh, unlock our repair bench, which we didn't use really. We will in future our test path, which we use to test suspension and brakes. Um, we have two lifters now. We got this nice... Um, engine crane we didn't use it we will and uh, our warehouse which is behind here but we might talk about that a little bit later we spoke uh, in last episode about cases and about barn maps and i intend to do uh, that in every single episode from now on to at least open one case one uh, to visit one barn so you always have a clue and idea what is going on there so let's see what do we have here jobs we are always checking do we have some jobs that are bringing more experience this time no now the jobs we are looking at are always gearbox and uh, exhaust system body parts these are uh, the ones that are actually the best uh, let me just check do we have something else Mm, brakes are also easy fast efficient let's do and why we are doing that because every job brings around 100 120 150 xp depends a little bit and we need fast jobs so this one is about the brakes about the loud car which is uh, obviously you know exhaust system and gearbox i love these jobs these jobs are the best and bringing most of the money now we could test it on test pet test track and te etc i don't want to do that because uh i will show you how you to do it without testing you know if you have enough experience and knowledge you can easily uh, fix everything without any issue so let's see this is a v8 if i'm not mistaken so the starter is integrated here and it is going to be removed from the uh, bottom uh, when we push car up but uh, let's see this okay let's go to the engine and we obviously have ABS pump that is uh, bad. So just to explain, if you want to remove ABS pump, you see this ABS module will be red. That means you need to remove first the part that is red to be able to access part that is, uh, you know, here uh, outlined in this yellow color. So we will remove ABS module, uh, just take it off and remove ABS pump and this is as you can see uh, the first part we discovered other parts are here we will discover them eventually so no worries um, other than that let's push car up and i can see immediately here we have a brake issue so let's start and we'll go wheel by wheel also we could do testing as i said go on the test pad and check it but i think this is a little bit faster especially you know when we are in the rush to get more points so we removed uh, discs and stuff you see uh, the beast the very this was really bad and i think also caliper so we are switching to mount mode and returning parts back so we don't have ventilated brake discs on the stock let's see so 65 percent parts Perfect, let's buy uh, new discs. We are going to our shop and break shop and here we will buy 10 for the start. Okay, so we are coming back, switching to part mount mode and uh, um, ventilated disc. What did I buy? I, I, I got brake pads, but we need ventilated discs. Hmm. We'll buy, let's say, five for now. 
Uh, brake pads we always need, so don't worry, you can have 20 or 30, it doesn't really matter. They, these are always you know, necessary and you will always change them. And I think brake pads were in bad condition, am I correct? 65, no, this 75 will work extremely well. Uh, caliper, okay, it was broken, but old cylinder, so this wheel is done. Um, okay, let's maybe, uh, I'm thinking, let's return this wheel, because why not? We will not need it, so good. Uh, probably this is uh, bad, but uh, yeah, let's switch to unmount mode and uh, let's go. Can we focus? You see, uh, the game focus now it doesn't work, so we will escape and come here. Um, now, if you look at this this focus sometimes it's hard to get so you have to be a little bit careful so if you look here i'm quite sure the disc is uh, bad it's faulty so let's see in the top left corner we can always always see uh, the percentage of damage on the part uh pad 11 percent, so we will need new ones and brake disc six percent so we know which uh, parts are gone let's immediately return uh, the new disc uh, new pads if i'm not mistaken was i uh, really uh, yeah new discs and uh, uh, brake caliper which we are going to use the old one so don't forget always to check you don't want to put new part if you don't have to there is no reason for that although i do believe if you t if you put a, a new part you will get that money back i never checked it uh, but still it is so little money that no problem at all look rear muffler we know that is not good and it's 10 percent and i'm sure this exhaust pipe is also bad um, let's see this uh, catalytic converter is 13 percent and this catalytic converter 10 percent uh, manifolds uh, let's see these two manifolds so seems to be okay so let's check we got all the parts in the uh, in the exhaust section I'm just looking yeah now we can see immediately here caliper is uh, wrong so let's uh, finish brakes first and you know if you are asking me um, it is sometimes uh, better even to just do jobs like this you know not to test it because actually every uh, mounted and dismounted part uh, unmounted is uh, bringing xp if you look at our xp counter and the top right uh, look when i put uh, parts in uh, let's see uh, can we use yes what happens one point always getting one point so that is pretty nice and more you disassemble uh, more points you get for example when you do restoration you will not get uh, any xp bonus but you will have a lot of uh, unmounted and mounted parts so that will bring uh, uh, quite a nice amount of xp and we will do one restoration in this process because uh, i was thinking uh, why not so again game switches us to some other side of the car that i don't want to be there but you know it is a bad game hunnix as i said i love this game but developer didn't pay enough attention and they are still not paying enough attention so that is unfortunate but you know until we have better game uh, that actually has developers that care uh, more we cannot do anything about that so that was the disc which we uh, needed to change and i think uh, the old brake pads are perfectly fine uh, no or yes 84 percent maybe these were 84 percent actually and we will return old caliper so we managed to fix brake system except the abs module uh, i think module was yeah or pump we will see maybe pump even and now we need to buy two catalytic converters rear muffler v8 and exhaust section so let's go here um exhaust pipe i think uh, i have some but i will buy two just to have it in the stock two more catalytic converters or even three and uh, the last one was rear muffler v8 i will buy two what uh, maybe you don't remember if you didn't watch my previous episode what i'm doing uh, now when i have to change some part i will always buy multiple i'm starting to build my inventory stock so we have enough parts uh, you know we don't need to jump all the time in and out and if we are talking about brake pads or some things that we know we have to change all the time we will buy even uh, more like 10 20 etc so rear muffler we have two perfect one we have to change exhaust pipe let's see four of them so we are set for now 
Now you see the focus. I'm trying to change, but it doesn't work. So I have to go out and then come here. So that is again bad game mechanics uh, and stuff. Well, nothing can be done about that. So the catalytic converter, we have one spare and that's it about that part of the job. We are switching to unmount and we are removing drive shaft. Why? Because to access the airbox on these cars, of course, this is the rear drive uh, car, we need to uh, remove the drive shaft. So drive shaft is removed, uh, gearbox starter. And if you watched my previous episode, you know that starter and I have a love-hate relationship. I always forget to put them back and uh, that's simply astonishing and uh, I cannot do anything about that. I will try to remember this time to uh, return it on its place. Okie dokie, so every single uh, gearbox has basically five major parts and these are flywheel, which in interestingly enough, I uh, had uh, quite a few in stock. It seems that we exhausted our stocks. So I'll buy five flywheels and I think all these things I should have. Let us check, not a big deal. If we don't, we will just buy and you see this. This, this is horrible, 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 but okay. So flywheel is first part, then it goes clutch plate, then clutch pressure plate. Uh, we will need to buy all these parts and then clutch release bearing. Okay, so basically these are the four parts and gearbox V8, we have to buy one. At the same time, we are going to buy four of these four of these and four of these so this is to match number of flywheels we have and we are going to take uh, v8 gearbox i'm not buying multiples gearbox is expensive um, i can always buy it when i need it so click here click here mount gearbox and let's remember uh, to return starter on its place immediately so I didn't do any testing on this job. I didn't uh, go to use any, uh, you know, test um, uh, devices. Let's call them devices. I think that's a proper name. We have few uh, because I actually uh, have experience. I know what uh, to do and you, I hope, uh, are learning together with me and you can now, you know, figure out by yourself what is uh, wrong with the car. So everything is done except uh, except where it is uh, ABS pump which we need to do from the engine base so we are switching here uh, putting car down and do we have spare ABS pump let's see uh, most probably we have because I uh, got a few of these and let's see ABS module we have also spare ABS module perfect that's it car is done and that was uh, around 10 minute job a little bit less Look at this, 5,200 TAS bonus, 2,500 job and 13,000 is pay out. Let's see how many XP's, three, okay, 100 something, beautiful, perfect job done, amazing. Let's see, do we have some interest in this job? I'm not even watching, at, uh, checking what it is, it is gearbox, I want to do every single gearbox job. Uh, I don't like these jobs, any of these, so I will just skip them for now. We have two cars, let's uh, do them. Um, what is this? Brake problems. Now, again, we could test it and we will just to, you know, give example and to show how that is done. But not now, not on this car. I am quite sure I can efficiently do that uh, fast from, you know, uh, just experience and disassembling. Let's check our electronic parts. As you can see, both ABS module and ABS pump are gone, okay? So we need to remove both of these. And if you check here, uh, yeah. Now it can be a little bit, uh, let's say, uh, tricky because we kinda, I think one more is enough. Oh, we kind of need to disassemble every uh, wheel if we want uh, to be sure that we uh, got all of uh, brake problems. So the testing might be a good idea. So we don't spend more time than needed. But I believe I might do that fast enough. So I will not test it. I'm looking here. Mm, let's see. 
So what we are going to do, we are going to check. Okay, let's see overview. Maybe we can, we have nine parts that we immediately figure in overview, but that's not enough. Nothing is clear. Okay, let's go out from the overview and let's see. This wheel looks pretty good. Uh, let's see this one, this one. Obviously we have issue here. So let's sort it and then we will see. So I'm first sorting wheels uh, and uh, you know side where I can see the problem lies 3% this is good and break disc is perfectly fine 71 66 is acceptable okay we are returning uh, the original disc and original pads which are somewhere uh, at the end and we will have to put new caliper and soon we need to buy more calipers but for now it's okay so this is one issue sorted uh, let's check how many uh, we have okay let's see I want to three more I do want to do gearbox jobs and stuff like that we here we have also the problem as you can see gearbox is good bodywork is good these are the two best jobs that you can get engine avoid uh, because engines can be tricky and time consuming for the same amount of xp brake jobs are also acceptable from my point of view brake jobs are perfectly fine uh, i can do them fast and uh, really there is no reason uh, not to take them if there is nothing uh, better uh, which you can do um, I don't know the restoration jobs I, I feel uh, the restoration job could be worth it because of all removing and uh, putting hard uh, parts back but uh, I don't know we will try we will do that in one episode just for for fun uh, let's sell everything you know we have all all these old parts these groups you have to sell by click on them and let's see you see how many of these old parts we have so we will sell uh, everything that is below 49 for example so we clear our inventory and we will you know talk about everything later now now the issue is uh, no this will this is the rear no no, no that is not let's see the front left front left was unclear we have to we will have to actually just give me a second i want to check something bear with me please this is a yellow one um, so we didn't check that brake caliper is 100 percent so everything here is fine okay But did we uh, do this one? I think we didn't, so let's check. Uh, this caliper should be good, but I think pads are not, actually. Yeah, pads are not, and ventral disc is good. Uh, this disc can go back, new brake pads, we know that, and the caliper is here we have to buy uh, calipers definitely they can be fixed uh, that's uh, the story with the calipers so you know once we have enough skills uh, for repair uh, we can fix it so which wheel we didn't do let us do overview so here we checked it here uh, obviously we checked here um, it's a little bit strange I'm missing something actually. What I'm missing? What I'm missing? Uh, I missed something. So let's uh, disassemble this one because I am not sure, but maybe brake pads here are bad. Let's see. Caliper looks nice. Uh, pad. Yeah. This is the last one. Uh, I wasn't sure because it didn't look like that from outside, but perfect. Okay, so uh, this is a job actually done. This car is uh, done. And as you can see, I spent on this one more time probably than I spent on the previous one. Uh, yeah, same time. Uh, and the amount of money that we are getting is uh, much, much less. Although the XP number is pretty much similar not uh, so much but similar 
Uh, let's see what else do we have. Uh, we have this one. I'm taking this one immediately, so we don't uh, want to think about that. We will move this card to our lifter and I want to check. I'm always doing, you know, multiples if we can. Uh, this is super fast job. We are going to take it. So we have now three cards that are uh, here and we are uh, pushing levels as fast as we can. This is just a gearbox. V8 OHV, so we can click open the hood, click here and check. We need V8 OHV gearbox. Let's buy one. You can see it's rusty. V8 OHV, where it is? V8, this should be the one. It is very rusty and stuff. Let us check. Starter is integrated, so push car up. We are starting at uh, 23rd minute of our uh, video with this job. Let's see how fast we can do it. Click. Click on the drive shaft. So let's remove it. And these are the jobs you want. You want gearboxes, you want bodywork. These are the fastest, easiest and actually most uh, uh, gain, money gain especially. So they are somehow, you know, uh, giving you that um, best profit for the invested money or, or t for invested time, actually. We didn't invest much money, we are getting money back. Okay, so uh, five parts and I'm quite sure all five are uh, gone here. Yes, they are. And we are just switching back. And as you know, we got some uh, stock here, inventory, so we can just put parts back. And that's about it. So my recommendation uh, for grinding through levels is actually, I repeat for 10th times, gearbox, bodywork. These are the two that are leading. Brakes are third. Uh, okay, exhaust system, sorry. That would be third and brakes would be four. Uh, fourth, uh, because exhaust system is also easy. I took one job that is pure exhaust system and you will see how fast that goes. Uh, if we have manifold, it can take a little bit more time. If we don't have manifold to change, then it's uh, super fast, super easy. So that was it. Uh, 22, uh, 30, basically 2 minutes, 30 seconds, something like that. 9,000 uh, bonuses. Oh, nice, almost 6k. That's it. Finish order 10,657, 10,780. Nine. So yeah, always 100 something XP, always 100 something XP. I'm just looking, we have 200,000, that is perfect. Uh, okay, always check the new jobs. When you finish, check, check, check. You never know. This one, we want to take this one. We have a minute 40 seconds. So let's move this one onto the lifter and let's take this one. This one we want because it's just bodywork. And these are relatively easy. I don't like the implementation. I will tell you why, because uh, that is not actually a good implementation uh, of the bodywork uh, system. So starter is integrated. We are pushing it up because with bodyworks, uh, you know, you usually have that info here that says minimal part condition, but with bodywork that doesn't work like that. It is just a random, very strange, I think it is a proper bug that should be rectified, but obviously uh, devs uh, are not really concerned about that, so not much we can do. Um, okay, now we will show that on the actual job. I think this one, uh, yeah, 10%, this one is gone. How many of these? And part not discovered. I would probably bet on the uh, manifold, you see. We will take it uh, later, last. Before that, I want to work on gearbox. Now, we have gearbox issue, but unfortunately not gearbox itself. Uh, uh, that's, yeah, that's unfortunate because we will not get so much money. But still, the job will be almost as fast as ever. We will just remove gearbox. Let's see. And all these internals which are, as you can see, a very, very bad condition. All of them, five screws. I cannot wait to get uh, faster uh, screwing and unscrewing. Uh, it will help a lot, a lot, really. So we removed it. We are pushing uh, things in, back. Let's go. Clutch plate. Uh, we have enough parts for now. Clutch pressure plate. And we will put bearing last. Uh, and then gearbox. 
and after mm -hmm. that, of course, uh, drive shaft, and that's it. So we are returning gearbox that is uh, in acceptable con condition for our customer. He doesn't want to change, although I would probably recommend it because it's only 50%, but you know, customer is the king. So that is how they uh, teach us in the business. You know, customer is always right, which is not true actually, but what can you do about that? Middle muffler, we should have one. A rear muffler, Hemi Kuda, we don't have that one, I know. Rear muffler, Hemi Kuda. Mm -hmm. This is the one I will buy only one. These are pretty rare and we will fix them uh, not often. So I really don't want to keep more than I need in stock. Middle mufflers are always a good addition. So this is about it. Uh, let's, uh, I didn't put starter in. Can you believe? Again, you remember my war and love-hate relationship with starters, but I remembered at last month. So manifold, manifold we can not remove like this. We have to go from the engine bay. Uh, this is uh, the V8 OHV. Oh, let me see which one H. Yeah. Okay, we need to buy that one, and I'm not buying manifolds also. Oh, wait, oh, wait, we age, age, age here. I'm not buying multiples because these are quite not, I cannot say rare changes, but there is so many different things. So for now, yeah, we can buy when we need it. Uh, if we believe we need more, you know, we will buy more. That's about it. This is the job done. Another three minutes job. Not a big bonus because there was no uh, gearbox and stuff, but still uh, 10, 8, Oh, nine, ten, nine. We are level 18, but I'm not bothered with that because level 20 is the first one that brings us something. So we are pushing to level 19 now. Uh, we are going to fix this car first. Uh, okay, this is the body parts. No, we are going to fix uh, this one. Move to the lifter. And why I'm moving it to lifter? Because if I find some nice uh, job, uh, this is timing components, oil, uh, Gearbox. We will take it regardless because uh, this is Pagani and this should bring a lot of money and let's uh, bring a little bit of diversity, okay? So we'll fix that Pagani, but first let's see what is with this car. Car is loud. Two things uh, that are wrong. Let's open the hood and bring engine bay here. Manifold is okay. So we have middle muffler and catalytic converter. We know two parts that are broken. You can see them, uh, how rusty they look. So I'm quite sure these are the right parts. Let's take them down. And we, I think we have uh, in stock both in our inventory, both of these parts. So let's remove middle muffler, catalytic converter. You can see here 11%, 10%. And these are two parts that were uh, in bad shape. Middle buffler, we have one in stock and converter, we should have one. Perfect. That's it. Right click. 400, but I don't care about it. 931, 11, 0, 33. So 100 XP, not much, 102 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, body, body, body. Okay, let's move uh, this nice car there and let's see, do we have some job that popped up? No, nothing. Okay, I will uh, move it. Uh, I will move it to the entrance one, which is uh, this one here, because it's a little bit easier. Now, look at this. We are doing experiment now. We will lose a little bit of time, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I want to do experiment. Royal Crown. Okay, let's go to the shops, and we say home, and then to our body sport. Uh, there is body shop. Royal. Um, Royal, let's see. No, oh, uh, we have to say probably crown. Okay, so Royal Crown. Let's see how much parts, all the parts are costing. So 250, 400. Uh, I, I have no, I don't have my, 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 my calculator with me. Uh, give me a second. I will be back in a moment. Hmm. I'm back, but I still don't have my calculator. Okay. 
probably you can see me walking and uh, losing um, you know my voice for a second because microphone is uh, far away but who cares it doesn't really matter it doesn't hurt anyone so let's see we are saying 250 400 what we are doing we are adding all the parts now okay bear with me please because this is interesting experiment that i'm doing for you 400 150 uh, but then uh, 150 again 2 350 100 okay 75 plus 100 plus 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 100 plus 250 plus 400 plus 150 plus 400 plus 150 i will tell you why i'm doing this plus 100 plus 75 plus 100 plus 100 plus 300 plus 200 i think that is all yes 4800 okay let's remember that number i will write it down 4800 what i will do now i will buy all of these okay I will buy all of these just for an experiment. Uh, I don't really care about money. Uh, there is more than enough money. And what I'm doing, I'm buying every single part because I want to see if this makes sense in any way to speed our progression and ease up on time and everything. So we have every single part for Royal Crown. Okay, now what I'm doing, I'm disassembling everything. Uh, I want to see if that can be treated as a cheat actually, not real cheat, but you know, uh, something that you can use to uh, do it faster and progress uh, through the game. We spent 4,800, don't forget. So I'm removing every single part that is uh, the body part, okay? And what I'm going to do, regardless of what game is asking, I will change every single body part, okay? Put new one. I think this is it. Yeah. Let's do it. Assemble mode. Let's go. Front left door, 100. Window, 100. Doesn't really matter uh, what is the condition of original parts. I don't care. I want to see how much money are we going to get and if that actual money will be enough, you know, to cover all expenses, but that should speed up our process of assembling and everything uh, very much. Because you just go in, buy parts, uh, that is 30 seconds, and just put parts and remove everything. Two minutes, you don't watch or look what uh, what is needed. You actually shouldn't care about that. You should, that. you should just remove parts, put parts, and that's it. So, let's see. I want to check. Maybe we are going to lose money, which, again, don't care about at the moment. Not a big deal. Uh, we can always earn money. Uh, bumper. Mm, I do, do believe I put a wrong uh, bumper. Sorry, that was a misclick. Let's see. That bumper. And I will switch to assemble mode again. Let's check. 100%. Okay. Yeah, I did put wrong bumper. Again, but by mistake. Uh, assemble mode. License plate. This can go original. I don't care about them. Um, headlight. And uh, front left fender. Now, let's see, uh, front right fender, why we didn't put, okay, we missed it, front right fender, okay. What we have done now, as you can see, we changed everything, everything, actually, the bodywork is as, what, as it was, but we changed everything. Now, let's see, so we spent 4,800, but actual payout is 4,500, so, Let's put this one, I think it needs to be in. So what I've done actually is not good, uh, not really advice, but not good thing, thing to do because you will lose money. Don't do that. You just buy what you need. Uh, we lost uh, 300 uh, units. So we know now 
game will not give you uh, that money back and uh, that's about it so yeah for now we will just stick to buying parts that actually we need perfect not a big deal we learned something new and it was interesting experiment i didn't know uh, how that will work and let's see what this nice pagani uh, is asking us to do change oil and filter good we have to dry and drain oil re replace timing parts so we have list actually um gearbox and gearbox okay so first things first uh, just to check again oil oil filter let's uh, push car up i'm somehow almost sure and we will um go to inventory okay and then we will go to body parts and then we will sell everything from here and we have a royal crown i will sell that also i don't care so i just want not to have body parts we don't need them and we earned enough money to cover our losses you know uh, we in last job we paid four thousand eight hundred for the parts we got uh, uh, four thousand three hundred or so no 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 uh, more even 4.5 and we sold this part so we are good so yeah you should you know if you are rushing you should do that and you will be you know on the same money but you will get xp and that is important um let's see how we can access uh, the, the issues here starter this is under the car okay this is what i wanted to know so we have gearbox gearbox issues here with our uh, nice uh, pagani and this is going to be a nice job and it will bring a bit of money so let's remove tires and why because we have these uh, axles see these axles that are connecting uh, to the gearbox and in order to remove them uh, remove gearbox you need to remove axles so tires down axle down a little bit more work than usual but it doesn't really matter you need to remove also the starter it is here and then we are going to remove this v12b gearbox and i presume all the parts inside are also in bad condition yes indeed they are uh, let's remove them uh, this job is a little bit not really more complicated but i think it will be a little bit more time consuming uh, because it actually needs uh, multiple steps but it's okay so let's uh, put parts in uh, let's see everything new perfect 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 so yeah body work i think actually i will try it again i think actually you can be on the zero if you don't want to spend time and stuff just you know buy all the parts and uh, that's about it and change the change it all and sell the old parts and you should uh, have the same money from what i uh, gathered uh, let's see where is that gearbox with well B, if I'm not mistaken, that was the gearbox for Pagani. Uh, but you have uh, two models. I think I got the right one. Yes, I did. So we have new gearbox for the Pagani. And we will put our axles in. Don't forget uh, to do that, of course. What else we are going to put after the axles are in? I will tell you the magical starter that I have special relation with and i forget about it all the time so that's it uh wheels uh do we have uh before we put wheels no we don't have anything brake related just wanted to be 100 percent sure so this is uh, uh the job done uh taking in account uh the gearbox work and that is very nice it's uh not so fast because there's a little bit more steps but again i don't mind uh oil let's drain oil because it's asking us to drain oil so how we drain oil we go to all our oil drain machine and we send it to lifter one and then you see it is because engine is here uh, we click on oil drain and say use equipment oil goes out there is a quite a lot of oil and we return our machine back and now we did and we will need oil filter and timing parts okay oil filter just to do double check where the oil filter is on this engine it is here with valve we have to buy it 
and um, can I do it from here or filter with 12 that is the one I will buy one for now as I said uh, some things I like to buy multiples but oil filter at the moment it's okay we can always buy them when we need them so that's done you see timing parts are here but uh, we need to go uh, through engine base so we are doing uh, this okay car is down then we are again trying to go to the engine click here and click here okay so accessible from engine so we didn't click on the engine bay we have to click here this is our engine bay and we have here these uh, timing parts okay belt engine for sure is uh, gone uh, let's remove the belt and let's remove these two pulleys which i'm sure pump is also gone yeah obviously and i think that is going to be it uh, we will just check now our list uh, plus filter do we need some other filter we change refill replace water pump pulley water pump timing chain and timing gear timing chain and timing gear um what i'm going to do i will remove all these things just give me a moment I do have a feeling that we might have a part that is not good you see timing chain um, now this the why I don't I like engine and why I told you don't do engine jobs because you see how much time do we lose for nothing actually so this chain is uh, not good okay first timing gear and then chain no kidding please wow 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 now this is uh, horrible uh, because we have to remove all of that look at this all of that to be able to access uh, the parts we need if i'm not mistaken i think i am not head cover so many screws although every time when we click on the screw it should no 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 it doesn't work on screws it works on the part as such plus one yeah so you cannot still do that uh, if it was working on the scroll it would have much more xp as i said avoid engine jobs in any any form at the moment so let's remove timing chain which is wrong uh, bad and stuff okay so we need timing chain let's see um timing chain timing gear v12 a b and water pump okay v12b let's first go with v12b timing chain and uh, what else timing gear v12b and it was something v12 uh, pump uh, let's check uh, because i honestly i'm not 100 percent sure so water pump v12 and two water pump pulleys what uh, pulleys water pump v12 and two pulleys i will buy four pulleys and water pump v12 so guys where is v12 can you see it this one okay let's see now let's go back click on the engine and um, yeah let's mount the parts back and this is why i don't uh, like to accept jobs uh, that are related with the engines they take too much time and they're too complicated and they don't bring uh, nearly as much xp per hour like any other jobs okay but this was pagani expensive car so i i should expect at least that we are going to get a good money bonus okay that's kind of thing that is working for us at the moment but other than that avoid engine jobs at the start later it will be pleasure you know to do these engines to you know assemble them disassemble them fix them and it's really a lot of fun and everything but not now okay let's put timing cover back so this is what we want to do just return this uh, broken not broken original part sorry original parts back mm, i need to click here to focus it 
See, there is a lot of work for uh, the really not so much gain. And my advice again, don't take engine jobs if you don't have to, or you know, whatever, sometimes you will simply have to, they will not have a choice. But I honestly believe these are uh, the worst in way of uh, money XP gain uh, per time, per hour, per whatever. So we will just return all the parts back. Uh, I believe I have everything. The belt is good. Uh, I should have tensioners. Yes, you see, I have tensioners already prepared. And let me see. Oil. Uh, we know that oil is not in. Okay, I would really hope that uh, I returned everything in. Is everything no it's not intercooler cover here and intercooler cover here I'm just checking you know what we forgot now let's uh, switch to unmount mode and let's uh, do the oil so we are going simply to keep mouse press down until oil starts to overflow and that's it there is a lot of oil going in look at that huge huge amount am I crazy Wow, more. Now I'm not sure if that is kind of a bug or not. Let's see. Okay, you didn't show that properly. Now, what do we have? Look at the bottom left. 5,000 spent, 4,000 bonus, 2.5, so 6 .5, 6, almost 8,000. Uh, four, six, almost seven thousand. Sorry, and that's it. Let's finish. Uh, no, we cannot finish because why? You will remember we removed these uh, body parts from our Pagani. So let's put clamshell back in and let's put our uh, tail light. Uh, did it have? Uh, yeah, I think it did. License plate now should be okay. So let's see. 12,000, perfect. Not a big XP gain, 120, something like that. And now we are without any uh, job here, but we still need a lot of things. We are taking this one regardless, okay, immediately. I didn't even look, I just seen. <sighs> now, we'll take this one also, uh, because this is uh, kind of very fast job it should be very very fast this is exhaust again we are doing it for the xp okay i'm checking manifolds first okay uh this is what is this oh no sorry this is gearbox job not exhaust job so uh even better even better as you can see gearbox is gone let's push car up and actually this one is going to be easy again under three minutes if i'm not mistaken we are going to take, uh, let's see, just a second, this one, drive shaft as always, first taking out the drive shaft, then you can immediately uh, take starter off, and then gearbox and the parts. You see starter going out of the car, and that's it. This is V8, of course, this is normal V8, super. And I think all the parts are, are gone, yes, uh, because I was looking and there was five. And as I said, always remember, there is five main parts in the gearbox and these are here. So when you remove five parts, that's it. Good. We have, I think, one more or oh, even two more. Good. And this is going to be again job that brings uh, quite a nice amount of money. Okay. For uh, three minutes of work. But again, money is not an issue. Look at how much money we have. We already have 200,000, which is superb, which is very nice. And with that kind of money, we can all already buy some um, serious uh, cars. Uh, but again, that's not our goal at the moment. Our main goal here and uh, the thing we are doing is to progress through levels. And I'm pushing it so hard because I want to show you how you can, you know, push it with dedication and uh, proper jobs. So I will return starter immediately uh, because uh, let's not forget about it and click on the drive shaft and that is it. So basically uh, when I finish these four uh, 
screws here and four screws on the other side we uh, finished the job it will be a nice money bonus and we are going uh, very close to the level let's see to the level uh, 19 5000 payout um, although it was three and a half thousand for us job done uh, let's go and body 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 i hate that actually i don't like it let's do jeep I don't like these body jobs because uh, I, I I have no way actually to properly simply uh, do the part buying and I will uh, show you what I'm thinking about. I will take this one also because it is also body work so these are the fast uh, jobs. Okay here manifold must be broken at least one let me see. Unfortunately, no, I really thought it will be, but it's not. So it's actually only, only exhaust system on the bottom of the car. Good, even better, because we can uh, do it only, you know, on one part of the car. I will just do the fast uh, check. Okay, didn't find anything. Uh, five parts, five parts. Okay, let's see. Exhaust pipe, exhaust pipe, middle, middle you can see by rust and the rear muffler v8 now let's see what do we have i think i have one rear muffler i do exhaust pipes luckily we have two but middle mufflers i think we don't yeah as i said uh, i you see i know actually many of parts what i have and don't have in the stock so middle 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 muffler is somewhere here we will buy four of them why because we can and we will need two here and we will use uh, two later they can stay in our inventory and that's it so this should be job done less than two minutes payout is not important look 900 uh, 200 uh, 320 doesn't really matter what matters is 11,577 xp so fantastic this is a bodywork uh, regardless we are usually doing it here but i will move it to one because i want to have this again this is a new job we are going to take okay all these are bodywork and we don't care we are 52 minutes in the game and we are doing great now what bothers me usually look these are the parts you need so this is jeep wrangler and uh, not a big deal but i need to go in and out to be able to buy all the parts and stuff so let's remove hood let's remove trunk okay then let's see front left fender uh front left door window etc etc front left fender front left door window uh let's go to the shop first and that's usually a very a very good idea first go to the body shop and find your uh your vehicle okay so we know that we removed uh, hood and we removed for sure a uh, trunk and then we actually removed a uh, left door window and something else which I cannot remember at the moment but doesn't really matter. Now we will try to be more efficient in a different way. Let's uh, front left fender. What did I buy? I bought a door. You see, this is why I hate this uh, bad system that really doesn't uh, work well the implementation you know i would like to be able to mark parts when i go to shop i just sent a list of the parts to the shop see like i would have here a part marked i was thinking you know if you maybe mark them here but no nothing happens so basically you cannot do anything that's unfortunate and I really think uh, there should be a better way to do it, but it doesn't matter. So this is the first part we know we have to change. Hood is the second one. This window definitely we need to change. And uh, trunk, do we have new trunk? We do have new trunk. What else? Let's see. Da -da -da. Left headlight, right headlight. So let's buy two of these uh, immediately. Left one and right one. And we will uh, just, you know, uh, go to disassemble mode, remove both of these and put them back in like uh, new ones. And as I said, this car accepts 70% minimal and uh, sometimes you will see that you can return that car part is, uh, for example, 50% and the owner is happy with that. This is bugged. This shouldn't happen. But 
we cannot do anything about that. Front window. Okay. Front window, uh, that's something that we have to remove. What else? Left side mirror and rear door. Uh, what is right rear door? Rear right door. Rear right door. Okay. Where is rear right door? Uh, where is front? Front is here. And we had left side mirror, if I'm not mistaken. So, assemble mode. New part here. Uh, I think this one goes here. And this one goes here. And from what I gathered, this is it. Small bonus, but we don't care. 11,577, 11,687. So 130. 130, uh, that is uh, perfect. Uh, and I think we are happy with that. So let's move this car. Again, this is a bodywork job. What do we have here? Mm. Carrera, we are going to take this one, okay? No thinking. There is gearbox involved and body, so perfect. Uh, again, let's see which car is that. This is Bolt Cape Supercharged. Not sure if we go to Cape, what will happen? There is one Bolt Cape. Okay, I know that we need Hood. I am 99.9% .9 sure that we need Hood because Hood was not here. Uh, but no, we don't need Hood. I just realized this is the one with the blower. So yeah, doesn't really matter. We will use Hood maybe later or something else. Uh, front left door, front right door, trunk. Okay. Uh, trunk is here, front left and front right door. Let's buy parts first. Mm, front right fender and a rear bumper. So front right uh, fender and the rear bumper. This should be it. Uh, let's see what else do we need. Um, left headlight, right and left taillights. So left headlight and both taillights. Left, uh, uh, left. Are we going, are we going to, let's see. Are we buying good parts or not? That's kind of unclear at the moment. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove these things. Just bear with me. Uh, because Sometimes also it's much easier if you remove stuff and then just return it back. Uh, I will just remove these things. So basically give me a minute. You need to find your way of doing things. I sometimes sometimes find the best way is just to remove all the parts and you know kind of return parts back. Um, let's see. Front left door, front right door. Uh, Mm -hmm. Okay, switch to mount mode and let's go. Front left door, front right door. What else? Trunk, front right fender. This is the one. A trunk, it should be new one. Yes, there is no thinking about that. Let's see. Mm, front rear bumper and left headlight. Okay, let's. Do we have rear bumper actually? Do we have rear bumper? we have and it said a left headlight am i a left headlight yes no this is the right one and this is the left one which is one percent but we don't have it so left headlight uh, this is it i wasn't sure if that is the, the uh, proper car but it is actually so good this is uh, the part, a left tail light and a right tail light. Now, what are the tail, tail lights? Is this? Yes. So trunk tail lights should be okay. And these left and right, right we have to buy. So these are just tail lights, not trunk ones. Uh, I, I didn't really do this car before. I cannot remember that model. So I just wanted to be 100% sure. Okay, left body window A. I didn't buy that. Or maybe I did. Left body window A. Left body window A. I didn't. Left body window A. We are buying new one. 
Uh, this should be it. Now, what is our job? We changed all the parts that uh, game wanted. We are going to return old parts. Some of these are, you see, 36%, 34, okay. Let me see, 35, front bumper is 60 even, right headlight is 41, what else we are missing? We are missing mirror here and we are missing front uh, window here, this one should be okay, let's see. Uh, 1000, 2000, again front uh, plates, uh, plates are actually always... Um, I forget about them and I presume you will forget about them because they are, you know, somehow not important but still uh, you need to put them on the car. So less than $2000 but we are 5 XP from uh, the level 19 and this is our. So yeah, okay, what I will do, I will send this one on the lifter and what I want to see, this I don't want to do. It's horrible, complicated, etc, etc. Not a single job from here I want to take. And I don't want to do storyline because these take time and I, I'm not convinced anymore. Uh, I, I was uh, doing a little bit of research that these are really worth uh, doing because they take too much time. Okay, so let's see this one. Left door, right fender. And what car is that? Bowen. Bowen, okay. Luxor Bowen. Luxor Bowen. Let's see. Left door, right fender, rear bumper. Okay. Left door, rear bumper. Um, what was that one? Just to see. Right front, right fender, both tail lights. The Rear fender, both tail lights, uh, right fender, yeah. And then what else? Left body window A and rear window. Left body window A and rear window. Now again, to be on the safe side, check front left door, front right fender, so front left door, mount, front left door, this is acceptable, this is acceptable. Was it right fender or left fender? I think it was right fender. We are going to remove it, switch to assemble mode, put a new fender in. So. I remember both tail lights, so the uh, game wants us to remove both of these and to put new tail lights in. Nice design of the car, okay. A rear bumper, it is in front of us, so let's uh, do it immediately. A rear bumper, I'm switching to mount and mount mode all the time. Now I'm switching to assemble. A rear bumper, we have a new one. Next one is a left body window A and rear window. Uh, uh, let's put rear window in and then we will put a left body window A. And this should be the one by... With this, I think, uh, yeah, we are done. Six, six, one thousand. So small payouts, but we are level 19. We need a 900 XP more in an hour. I'm not sure we can push it and try it. We will see. I'm doing my best, but you know, it's a little bit tiring. Um, this one we will take because it's gearbox, bodywork and uh, exhaust system, no experience bonuses. So I think this one can be okay as such. Let's uh, take it. In meantime, we have this beautiful Porsche which has transmission problems um uh, yeah and body parts mm, just to see can we actually let's remove this engine cover access the engine and i just want to see where is the starter starter is 
accessible from you see engine base so that's what that was important and then we are going to push car up on the lifter to access the rest of the gearbox in the meantime i will check what gearbox it is and i will buy necessary parts so this is which one b6a okay gearbox is b6a let's return to our shop b6a mm -hmm. i'm looking i'm looking b b b b b b b b huh. not sure where it is b b b b b b b b six c this is a porsche b six a this is the one okay and then i am going to buy a four plates four pressure plate four bearings and four y wheels because we have uh we want basically to have them on the stock and as with pagani this is uh let's call it uh, this is not really mid-engine car but yeah it's it's kind of sport car so they usually need engine that's kind of it but this is a porsche so the same concept like pagani the engine is here and you need to uh, remove all of that although with the porsche you have also drive shaft so it's quite quite a lot of things to do okay that's it uh, let's remove gearbox and parts uh, return it back finish with that do the bodywork and then move forward uh, now why i'm pushing to level 20 because the level 20 brings finally some new upgrades and updates which uh, i think uh, will be useful if we can go there we will if we cannot we will not uh, depends you know maybe if we just concentrate on this i think we can do it but if you want to talk a little bit more about cases about barns and stuff then yeah i think we might not be able to do it so we'll decide you know a little bit later we are our six minutes into the video so as always you know time is there but can we finish everything we will see okay this is the wheel one here uh, of course our drive axle again uh, coming on and another wheel uh, this concludes this part uh, uh, and we will just put our drive shaft in and then we need to return uh, the starter we are trying to not forget it but starter has to be uh, put in from the engine base so cannot be done from here let's see uh, car is happy okay now the body parts what i'm going to do i'm going to try to get out of here yes i'm stuck return car in and then click on the jobs and just briefly check not a single job that i want <sighs> maybe this drip chiroki because i will take it regardless it's a little bit of money bonus and that's it so uh let's go and we have uh, access to engine from here and we are going to mount our starter in that's perfect starter is in and uh, that's about that uh, also i will do not assemble mode yet because we have actually this and oh my goodness uh 911 carrera 4s let's go first to the shop okay so here and our body sport 911 oh. nine, nine. is that the one for s991 that should be it so again uh bad design uh, we cannot do anything hood engine cover and both fenders food a uh, food ha <laughs> i'm hungry so probably that is uh, what is talking hood engine cover and uh, where is hood am i crazy completely and utterly it's here uh, it's here uh, front and left fender from what i remember and uh, what else did we have uh, hood engine cover yeah engine cover is here so these are the four parts we got uh, let's see 
uh, left tail light and Windows A, both of them. So left tail light and both A windows. This is the left one and this is the right one. We got these two, perfect. It's not a big job, but still. And front left door window and front right door window. So yeah, these are the big ones here and here, okay. So let's start. Uh, I think this was trunk that not, doesn't need to be changed, but hood needs to be changed. Uh, so let's see. Um, hood engine cover. Okay, assemble. Let's put hood. No, engine cover should go first, but how to access engine cover now? This is a tricky part. Just give me a moment. Can I access engine cover from here? No, I cannot. Now I'm trying to figure out how did we manage to access engine cover. And I'm honestly trying to remember. If we put hood, we can, I think we can open it. And then we should be able, yes, engine cover. Okay, this is a little bit tricky, but now you learned something. I wasn't sure, but yeah, I remembered it properly. So we'll close it and that's about it. These are the two first part in. Uh, let's see, both fenders. So let's remove one fender and other fender. I'm absolutely sure both of these windows and both of these windows should be uh, new. Other than that, I know some daylight or something, but mm, let's switch to assemble mode and see. If we have, yes, we have parts, so that means this needs to be changed. There is no doubt about that. If you have 100% part that we got. Let's change both fenders and then we will see what is actually missing. We are missing left tail light which should be this one uh, let's remove it and exchange with uh, the new one we got we didn't remove plates uh, nothing okay so five uh, why i wanted to do it as you can see eight thousand something money bonus perfect uh, job done eleven nine two four twelve zero nine four eleven nine two four so nice uh, xp gain okay uh this one is only bodywork if i'm not exhaust perfect this one we are moving to the workbench or our actually lifter and let's see we are immediately taking what you remember gearbox jobs okay let's see this one what it says loud exhaust gearbox and body parts wow mm -hmm. okay first we are going to check uh manifold which definitely needs to be changed so i'm going to do it okay let's see other one should be okay let us see Mm, a loud exhaust. I just want to sh to see what would you say, guys. I think rear muffler most probably is goner. Mm, yeah, I'm just looking. This one looks okay. Let's buy exhaust manifold. V8 OEH V. Let's go back to our shop. V8 OEH V usually was somewhere mm, here OHV and this is the one uh, let's buy two of these one can stay these engines are pretty uh, common so yeah to have one in stock not so bad so we know one part we got uh, and we do have another one which we didn't discover and we have uh, gear box. Uh, the starter is removed from here. So what are we going to do? We are going to push car up. I want to check if that rear muffler actually is uh, the culprit and if it 
these it will make our life a little bit easier i'm thinking about this one this one looks really in the be, uh, to be in the bad shape 10 percent. that is the one i'm not sure yeah rear muffler v8 do we by any chance have one rear waffle muffler v8 oh now we are again uh we eight oh we and the rear muffler where is rear muffler here a normal okay because obviously it's easier like this uh we eight oh we this is the long one like this i will take uh, two actually i want to have one in uh, my inventory and let's see return this one in and this is about it for our exhaust system now what is our next job our next job is to remove this drive shaft and you might remember uh, we have gearbox problems with this car and as always gearbox is easy five parts plus starter of course so we ate OHV gearbox we need to buy that one i simply forgot now when i was in the shop let's do it uh, we ate OHV that one is here yes and let's just see where is the front of the car here i cannot see this focusing i hate it okay release bearing going out and uh, this is it so basically we are uh, doing this playthrough without any actual cheats without any you know there are some cheats money cheats and stuff and xp cheats which i find really disgusting and why would you do that if you want to do that play in sandbox mode what's the point uh, this is you know building of your career you build yourself uh, you do stuff as you you know would probably in the proper repair shop and as i said i worked in one as a manager i know a thing of two but we will talk about that some time when we have kind of you know when we are doing something more relaxing probably something like restoration uh, and i will tell you how things are working usually and how you do things in in real real repair shop and uh, you know this is the way uh, to do it I do believe the balance in the game should be better and you know not uh, gearbox jobs to be uh, such a easy jobs relatively uh, speaking you know and then you have some other jobs that are much harder and they're bringing same xp i think the balance is lacking but as i said i do believe in this game developers are not paying uh, not nearly enough attention to the game and i have a feeling they actually are looking only to uh, milk the cow and you know take whatever they can until they can so it doesn't really matter let's hope they will release maybe version 2021 at least something that will you know maybe fix all these issues so front left door front right door and trunk so this is the bolt cape yes bolt cape correct uh, let's uh, go and go to our sports shop and maybe type cape okay so this is the bolt cape and i will just recheck re everything uh both doors trunk and right lights so both doors trunk and right lights uh where is the trunk here right light and right light so that's the five parts okay we need front bumper both door windows and left body window ah so we need front bumper if i'm not mistaken uh, both uh, door windows uh, door window or this one and left a if i'm not mistaken if i'm mistaken we will buy a new one who cares and then we are going to our list again door door trunk so let's remove door let's uh, remove door let's remove trunk let's return trunk 100 percent we are having we have to buy and we will immediately to, to sell all these parts and we will immediately return these so i'm sure left tile uh, left daylight was uh, mentioned and i'm going to 
now was it left no it was right actually right a light okay i kind of missed it so it i got it but i wasn't uh, sure which one right door we know that we need to change it uh, let's put the new window in we know that uh, side mirror was uh, acceptable and this right body window we didn't even change so here we do have a right headlight which i'm absolutely sure we have to change yes and let's see what is left so front left door let's go and do front left door because it's sitting here and we are going to change it and the window plus we are going to put mirror and we are going to install uh, let's remove it and install a new left uh, body window a okay this is the most of it in and also front bumper which i uh, hope i got a front one not rear one but you never know i got a front one of course and we need to put license plate in that's about it uh, is this license plate yeah we removed it now we will just return it back i want to check we will talk about license plates also that's interesting theme and question so for a three four almost 5k perfect uh, relatively fast finish order and we are at 12200 i don't believe we will manage to go to level 20 honestly i am uh, kind of trying to believe that but i cannot because there is a lot of work that we need to do okay this one uh, we are pushing again on the our lifter and let's see do we have some very nice job no 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 see now all engine jobs which we don't really want brake exhaust a uh, transmission okay guys let's spend uh, some time and show you how for example use the test path we have here i think we didn't show it in this episode so let's uh, do it just uh, so we go to any of these uh, machines you see any of these uh, all of them do the same we go here and then the game on the left corner you can see uh, top corner you can see uh, what is going on with your front left uh, front rear brakes suspension etc and on the bottom it says uh, accelerate so we accelerate when we stop we need to press brake so the front brakes are tested so front left are not good uh, again accelerate uh, until game says brake reverse so we are waiting rear brakes should be better yes good and then again accelerate until car stops and this will test the front suspension first so you will see the car is jumping out and testing it and uh, the next step would be again accelerate until uh, the rear wheels pop into the tester and now we will test that so you can also go to the test track which uh, will test the suspension and brakes and stuff i don't want to do that at the moment because we don't want to lose time actually and uh, i just show you one of the testing uh, uh, of the ways to test uh, things so we have like uh, four things that are broken i want to check uh, it's v8 uh, you see abs pump abs module these are not tested although i i will escape there is a reason for that click on the engine then right click and go to examine tools so we have obd scanner compression tester and electronic meter let's use electronic meter although electronic meter uh, will not test for uh, abs system i'm almost 99 percent sure let's check maybe i'm wrong no it testing uh, you know the other systems in the car and let's use also just for fun uh, obd scanner this is a computer that you know you plug to your car computer and then they talk and the car tells to your tester okay this is wrong this is wrong this is not wrong uh, maybe this one should find a, a you see abs module but pump no so we found one uh, part although actually we knew that both of these are not good but you see testing uh, things uh, it's good especially when you have more complex jobs that uh, very much makes sense as always laptop corner shows you uh, the percentage of uh, the part that is damaged so this is it let's push car up and we are going to remove gearbox this is going to be another great job 
because uh, it will bring a lot of money and we will use money later at the moment money is not something we need especially exhaust look at this converter this is gone 10% I'm sure and this muffler is gone 10% so let's see mm, exhaust we didn't find one part so it might be even uh, you see this manifold mm, I didn't check it and we will do it later it's not a big deal what we want to do at the moment first let's remove this drive shaft because manifold uh, is always always something you have to check you know when exhaust is in question I didn't and it's not honestly not, not really no, not big deal it's not deal at, all. deal at all we will do that and fix it so all these parts uh, gearbox we see that these are broken starter is good and uh, let's remove this v8 gearbox and see what is inside is everything gone i think so let's see 10 percent top left corner as always shows you the part uh, condition 14 percent clutch plate 10 percent and flywheel well, so let's return our uh, parts back but this time we are going to put new parts because we cannot give customer crappy old parts um, good 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 as I said you can keep some parts in the stock especially the higher values and you can put on some customer cars because customer wants for example 75 percent parts well you give them that um, transfer case week four I think it was v4 transfer case and uh, let's check uh, the gearbox was v8 there is no doubt about that and this was the transfer case 4x4 four four, not v4 because v4 is not actually a transfer case mm, okay let's see can we click here and click here let's put new gearbox in you see we have two that are broken we need to sell these parts I forget to do that also but we will do I'm returning starter so we don't uh, forget uh, we are putting new transfer case 4x4 and then we are going to put our shafts in first uh, the front shaft here and then the drive shaft here so this is a, a actual uh, gearbox uh, fixed the job is done we need now to sort out uh, the catalytic converter which we don't have in the stock and uh, let's see rear muffler i will click here just to go rear muffler v8 which we don't have in the stock so let's go to exhaust and catalytic converter will buy three of these to have two in the stock and rear muffler v8 we will buy three of these because uh, these things are pretty common uh, you've probably already seen it we changed quite a few of them let's put converter in and muffler in uh, I will show you now of course a uh, situation with the car so these are the things that are uh, not good with the brake exhaust we know what is the last part that is uh, broken okay now let's go out and we can do this go to overview mode and we see here is the red part immediately so change it we have to do brakes this car had also brake problems and I took the job because actually uh, it was worth it uh, there is a lot of things to do so you see these brake pads are runners we are just going to change them and to assemble the wheel and this uh, part of the brake job is done no need to think about that anymore we will return wheel and move forward I don't like it because we are hour 30 in and I was pushing as hard as I can I I'm feeling now actually tired because this was a really extremely hard push I'm looking at overview now trying to figure out do we need to change something here probably not but here we obviously have issues so let's click here I wanted to go to level 20 but I couldn't I don't think we are going to manage it maybe with hard pushing but we'll see so this is it uh, this brake pad again is gone uh, let's put new one and let's return caliper original one in that's it uh, and the wheel back so we will see now how many uh, issues we sorted uh, and how many is left uh, two dent ventility discs disc and brake pad so actually you, you see here is a, we don't even need overview we have a very clear picture this is the ventilated disc that is gone and I would hope that maybe this 
these, uh, this brake pad system here is uh, bad, absolutely perfect, so we don't need to disassemble uh, the last wheel. We're going to put new disc, new uh, brake pads and the uh, original caliper that we took off from the car. So that's it for the braking system. We need now to go to change manifold and to do our ABS pump and ABS uh, ABS module. Uh, and that will finish with the brakes. But as I said, finish with the brake system. I'm thinking about mechanical parts here. So that is uh, done. Let's switch the engine and take this manifold out. So that is the G1. And I have to buy, actually no. Before that, let's uh, see, do we have pump? We have, and we have module, we don't. So we will buy uh, three modules and two pumps now. Three modules and two pumps. Uh, so we have stock and manifolds. Uh, that was V8 OHVG, if I'm not mistaken, this one. I didn't buy more uh, because uh, these are not so common actually. So for now I do believe we can uh, use this one and then we will see. Uh, this is it. Uh, let's change uh, and add our ABS module here. And if you're lucky enough and I didn't forget anything, this car is done. Let us check. No, there is or yes, just to be 100% sure. No, I think I'm good. Okay, so 6,800 bonus, 2,300 bonus, amazing, uh, great big payout, 12,241, 12,360, so it's always around 120, around 120 XPs. And this is why I don't think we can uh, manage to get uh, more in 30 minutes. Uh, this is a brake job, a uh, gearbox job, sorry, I don't care, I'm taking it immediately. So, let's see this one. This uh, cute little things, a thing is all about gearbox. And uh, let's move it to the lifter. And let's see. Also, what I'm doing first, I'm checking the gearbox and I'm checking the starter. So this is uh, it and starter. Okay, so we have to access it from the bottom. And this is the gearbox is ROTA, which I'm going to buy immediately. This is the Mazda, if I'm a Rotary A. Uh, rotary, Rotary A. Okay, okay, guys, I have no idea where it is. Rotary A, it's here. Okay, this is Mazda. Uh, they're using Rotary engines, uh, if you know. Uh, Vankel engines. Uh, which actually should be uh, even better uh, in many aspects as no normal engines, but for some reason they're not used so many and so much. I'm not sure if Mazda has some patents on it or whatever, but still, you know, some great Mazda cars are uh, driven by rotary engines and yeah, rotary engines should be very, very nice. Okay, so as always, you can see, there is a, a full set of gearbox parts that are bad. And I'm going to actually remove all of them. And let's immediately put back our flywheel, our clutch plate. And oh, we are getting very short with our parts. Uh, let's try to remember, I'm pushing it and I didn't sell still old parts. But I think I will need uh, to slow it down a bit because I'm really, really getting uh, drained out with such a speed of doing things. Uh, and you shouldn't do that, trust me. You should uh, play it a little bit slower, enjoy a little bit uh, in the game. But now we are, you know, pacing ourselves. We are trying to do it as fast as we can. And, you know, I am I think I'm doing pretty... Uh, good job uh, taking circumstances in account so yeah that's it sorted let's see nice fat big payout amazing for such a small car uh perfect let's do it 
12509. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we are going to make it. Now, I will take also this one uh, because uh, it is just uh, a fast and easy job. Why not? This is the first time I think we see this Bentley. But in meantime, uh, let's move this one to our lifter and let's see what the problems are gearbox again amazing perfect the best thing possible uh, uh let's see i'm just checking this is v8 uh, v8 let's buy gearbox v8 and not only gearbox v8 but five plates uh five pressure plates as always i apologize because my keyboard is a little bit uh, loud but it is a mechanical keyboard that I dearly love and you know it is next to microphone and I'm using the beautiful Samsung G Track Pro if you know the microphone is amazing but it is sitting on my table because it's very heavy and I don't want to put it on the stand to risk it to fall down or something I might buy some uh, smaller uh, like a lightweight uh, mic but this one works amazingly well and I'm super happy with it so we'll see okay so we got parts, I got uh, even the, the gearbox and uh, let's do this, uh, we managed to do it in 2 minutes 30 seconds, that's about it, I hope we can uh, do the same now, so as always removing drive shaft, uh, pushing here, uh, removing starter, gearbox and other parts. So when we are talking about grinding now, you could actually go and just, uh, you see there is a uh, good pressure plate. You could just go and play sandbox mode or something, but I somehow believe this gives you uh, more pleasure. It's, you know, through the playing, you you figure out things, you learn out things, you, you I think, enjoy the game more. Yes, I'm playing in sandbox also, of course, uh, you know, when I'm uh, assembling cars and doing restorations and stuff, because it's easier, it's faster, it's just uh, more convenient, let's say. But I would recommend every owner of this game, and if you buy this game, go through the playthrough. Go to, to level 1, you know, and go through level 1 and level to level 50, basically, and see how that works for you, you know, how to enjoy the game and actually do like it that way because i found playing through the game very very enlightening and uh, it was uh, a big pleasure for me and now i'm enjoying it uh, thoroughly trust me guys i do enjoy this and i'm super happy that i can do this okay let's see again nice fat money bonus we don't care about money as i said at the moment we care about xp 639 i promise you we are getting there i hope we need one more gearbox job i'm taking it immediately we can go there this is just a simple let's open the hood and check the engine why i'm checking engine you know that i'm checking manifolds and you see this one this is t series manifold uh, this one is specific for the uh, Bentley and I will just buy one uh, that is T-series let's uh, take it uh, I think if I put like this I should get um, this one yep and we are going to change it immediately and uh, this uh, would be where it is this would be the part of the job done and then we have if you can see on the left down left down uh, uh, some uh, exhaust system definitely is a uh, goner like the middle muffler so i have to move the car to the lifter there is no choice and we will push it two levels up as always because uh, it's exhaust system so let's do it i will drink a little bit of fluid in the meantime oops it's not easy to talk for two hours trust me you should try uh, middle muffler 10% and do we have anything else? No. I do believe I have middle muffler in the stock. Yes, perfect. That's done. Not a big payout. I don't care. I care only about XP 12, 7, 4, 6 and I, uh, I have to admit I uh, misjudged. We are going to do it. We are going to do it and we are going to pass level 20. Okay. 
Let's not think about other job. Let's finish this one. This is just a gearbox. So we are going to the lifter. And what is this? This is a beautiful car. Uh, yeah, a Nissan, of course. Uh, okay, push it on the lifter. And let's see, this should be a big engine. And uh, yep. I'm talking about starter. If I, I if I didn't make mistakes, starter is integrated and uh, it shouldn't be a big issue. So first we are removing starter. Second we are removing our drive shaft, and uh, I think we are passing a level 20, and that is not welcome news, but that is like wow, amazing news, actually managed to go three levels uh, because I did push hard and as you can see we are getting there. So let's uh, remove all the gearbox uh, things and move forward. Now you might think this is extremely boring and everything and it is in a way. You know you're repeating same thing over and over again and doing same stuff and it might get really really I don't know annoying at the time and stuff but trust me uh, it is well worth it and also uh, you don't play like I'm playing now you don't do it what you do you enjoy you go out go to the I don't know junkyard buy some stuff uh, maybe you will unlock repairs you know all the levels so you can repair stuff you can sell stuff you can i don't know buy some old car restore it we have one mazda here that we will restore eventually uh, and things like that so you know don't overwork yourself with pushing through levels just enjoy game and see that you find that nice balance that will make you happy and that will make you enjoy it fully I don't mind at the moment pushing this, although at times it is very, very uh, tiring. And as I said, talking for two hours straight, it's really not easy. Let's see. This is done. This is done. Uh, huge money. Again, we don't care. And my friends, what we managed to do, we managed to push in one hour, 41 minutes from level, what was uh, 17 to 20. So let's move to one of our, let's move to our smallest, smallest, smallest toolbox here. Okay, level 20. We have three points now and we are on level 20. Next unlock level 25. And from my point of view, the most important one on level 30 and then 35 and then, yeah, we'll see. But at the moment we cannot do anything. This, this is what I was looking for. This is 150% faster screwing and unscrewing. And of course, you have to understand some skills are linked. And if you don't unlock previous ones, you cannot unlock these that are coming later. And this is the first skill we are going to unlock. Okay, this we need. It is very important and uh, it will speed up the process of, you know, disassembling and assembling. Now, we have all the skills that we didn't unlock. This is kind of, let's go through it uh, for today. I think we are going to talk a little bit about cases and uh, go to the barn and stuff. Let's finish game like that. No need to rush it anymore. We are level 20. So this one is actually faster walking, useful. We don't need it now. This is discounting shops, useful. We don't need it now. Tire thread tester, last one to unlock, really not useful. You can basically do it by eye or just remove tire and stuff like that. Uh, so 100% faster part examination, uh, useful. No, no need to talk about that. It's actually a good skill. Uh, this uh, is nice income. We don't need, we have enough money, 260,000 and it's getting better and better. So at the moment, this is not important. So not one of these skills at the moment I find really important. Maybe uh, this one, examination, uh, might be, yeah. Okay, this is a fuel pressure test. This is useful. Again, you don't need it much at the moment. This is engine related, so I would not bother with that. Uh, this is uh, odds of success, successful repair, 85%. And, you know, with combined with 95% when time is, comes, when we go to level 25, this is what you want to have. 
Now, I uh, don't think we are going to try to repair much, but let's unlock it. And now we are at 85%. And the next skill to unlock, I don't know. We are going to get points. Uh, this is going to be actually next unlock on level 25 that we need for sure. Other than that, I don't know, maybe we could uh, take 100% faster part examination and that would be kind of it. I don't know. Let's leave it for now. We can always come back or look. Let's just unlock it and that's it. Done. So we have some basic skills unlocked. I always say, you know, these things are very uh, important you know with all of these other that are not unlocked we can live without them and you know we will get points and we will unlock them in time so not a big deal okay so we worked very hard we got to level 20 and now let's uh, show our warehouse just to see what we have here so this is our warehouse where we keep all these um, let's sort here by name okay when we sort it by name, we will get something like this. So we are getting these barn maps from the jobs. OK, we will keep one because I want to show that to you. Actually, what is what it is uh, in every episode? We can do that. And we have all these nice cases. So we are getting them from the jobs and also we can buy them in the barns. I will show you uh, show that to you. Let's I'm sending them to um, inventory. Let's leave three and we might open three of these. And this is our, uh, on the right side, our warehouse. This is a general one, uh, the junkyard one where I keep some engine blocks and stuff. Let's take one old engine block and uh, one gearbox. Let's see which one is 19% actually. We will try. Uh, these are the parts that we are trying to repair later and to sell them. And some of these, like these blue ones are very nice because uh, you can adjust gears and stuff and i will show you uh, that to you when time is right plus 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 are actually parts that we are getting from the cases you see these are all higher quality parts some of them have plus two plus one plus one some of them have even more performances you know plus uh, zero fifteen percent etc you can use them you know to mm, increase the value of your car or quality etc etc and you can use them to sell them actually i think this is the best especially the most uh, more ex e expensive ones okay so this is about warehouse warehouse is here let's talk about cases let's go to our inventory and let's see uh yeah cases are not a separate group uh, let's uh, first okay first first things first let's go to the repair bench just for fun so you see I removed from I, I got this on the junkyard now I don't think we are going to repair any of these okay uh, ABS module is the old one we took from some car let's try $56 or 56 money units we click on it now it is 34 percent again 80 more and now we got 100 percent part for how much it was around 100 something units and the new one is 700 so we did a good good job these i'm quite sure we will not be able to repair but let's try 50 nice 79 nice that is 130 for example and we managed uh, that was how much? 200 something. Engine block 400. And engine block 300. Perfect. That is 700 around that. This I don't want to repair. Let's go and see. We got that in junkyard for probably 100, 100 something. Let's go to our inventory and the newest part should be here. Okay. So this gearbox, let's see, we can sell it for 325 and we spent, I cannot remember actually, but less than 200 and we got it probably because these are the cheap parts. We got it probably pretty cheap. And let's see this one, 2,600 and we spent actually around 800 to fix it and to buy maybe 200. So this is around thousand. So look at the profit. 2625 so profit is around one and a half thousand at least for this one uh, that we repaired 
So engine blocks are amazing. This one was not big profit actually, but this is not a good gearbox to buy. Actually, this is a crappy beer gearbox that, yeah, it's not really important. So we will sell it. I don't want to keep it. Uh, you can keep it in your warehouse or let's leave it in our, um, why not? If you have a uh, Lotus with gearbox problems, we will use it. In meantime, I want to sell everything that is less than 15%. That cannot be repaired. We spoke about that multiple times, everything that is less than 15%. Then things like this, you want to sell. Actually, you cannot uh, repair them. And the best way is to go to the engine and check what do you have here. Everything here is new, suspension, everything here is actually new, brakes, everything here we are checking is new, exhaust, new, gearbox, uh, we have one of these. I will keep it for now. Who knows? Body parts. Do you want to keep body parts or not? I say sell everything. We don't care at the moment. Rims, nothing. So, actually, this is uh, what did I sell now? Oh, you see what I've done? That was very stupid mistake which happens from time to time. I'm not bothered at all. You know, it's just money. Who cares? I sold everything because I didn't pay attention. I was thinking I'm selling just the body parts and I sell, I sold it like 100%. You never do that. You do 99 or something. You never sell 100% parts. So we actually probably lost a few thousand dollars in this uh, whole process. And we uh, kind of, you know, sold things that we might use but we don't care uh, you never sell these so it's really unimportant and groups are not sold so now you see how you can make mistake and i made it because i'm a little bit uh, tired actually and i didn't pay enough attention but again you didn't sell anything you cannot change or you cannot buy so not important let's see let's talk about cases fast when you click on the case it will ask you do you want to open it i will say yes so case is something where you get some nice things uh, and especially nice is these barn maps which I like and you get things like uh, drive shafts you know plus two mechanical injection plus two this is plus three even so I will say collect let's open three of these we will in every episode open like three I think three is acceptable uh, case content now we are getting some uh, rims some uh, what is this manifold or intake manifold exhaust manifold yeah collect items okay and let's open the last case and see what we are going to get we got one a barn map which is beautiful and these are all you see these parts i honestly don't care much about them what i care i just want to check this one you can sell for 1700 that is already good money 300 nice money 700 amazing so I'm immediately selling this. I don't want rims. I don't need rims because you can never pair all of them. This one is 300, 180. You can maybe keep this if you want to put on some car, you know, this engine had B, V12B, but it's very specific camshaft, $18. I will sell it. Uh, front drive shaft C, very rarely used, goodbye etc etc so it's your choice you can even uh, i don't know keep it all of that in your um, warehouse or you can sell whatever you want and i will sell immediately this engine can i don't care it's almost 2000 units so that's it now you know about the cases you will get them from the jobs and you will get them from the barns what are barns barn location map when you click on it do you want to add barn destination into your map just to check it briefly we have uh, enough time main gate this is where we can go now we have a car auctions opened we will talk about that in the next episode we don't have time now and we will visit all of these this is our test track this is junkyard where we should go in next episode just to show it you know every two episodes i will show that but there is no bars yes so let's go to our inventory and click on barn location map and say yes we want it added to our map so get out get out and okay okay perfect now we have a barn and what is barn you might ask let's click and see what is barn and bars are, barns are nice i like them actually they're very useful they have uh, two main um, let's say uses and uh, i will show you that now so this is the barn 
and uh, usually uh, you are getting these crappy small barns but it's okay so every barn will have some cars in it some barns will have four or five cars some barns only one and it will have these junk piles okay and you click on the junk pile same like you're doing in the junkyard and you will have all these parts and you know that we are buying usually only gearboxes and engine uh, blocks and the most important thing is that in every barn you have one junk pile which has case this time it was the first one so i'm going to take it and usually i will check everything because it's like five six seven these piles and this is kind of going fast you know you just check all of them and find your case but case is always one so this car is a uh, a bolt roller what is that i honestly cannot uh, cannot recognize uh, it doesn't really matter uh, i don't want to buy any of these because yeah it's not special we don't have pain booth yet and stuff but this is the idea behind the barn you will find some beautiful cars here uh, in pretty good shape better than in junkyard and you will have all the junk which you can go through and find the case uh, which you want to take when you are finished escape return to garage and it will ask you do you want to buy a case for 200 i will say buy and we will go back and open the case okay i think this is the last one in our inventory the the only one actually we opened all of them so let's do it let's open it why we paid 200 for it yes so we open it and let's see what we are going to get I would be most happy to get like uh, three bar maps, but that doesn't work like that. So collect items, very crappy stuff. The piston ring 35, the serpentine 100, so 140, and this 24. So this time we even didn't cover the expense of uh, the case. But many times you will get much more than 200 uh, this time we didn't and this is for example super specific bentley part so who knows when you will have opportunity to use that i don't want to sell it at the moment uh, it's not important let's go to our warehouse and we will just drop these parts in our plus 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 uh warehouse where uh, it's right click to moving or removing part where we keep all the stuff and i will move this barn location map here because we have them here and now we don't have parts as you can remember we sold it everything i made a mistake again it's not a mistake actually who cares we can buy parts it's only money it's not a big deal uh, i'm not at all bothered with that so we covered um, cases we covered uh, barns and we will do that in every episode i will try at least to leave a little bit time at the end to do that you know that we have warehouse and what parts are there we have our repair bench and we managed to use repair bench efficiently now to repair some junkyard stuff and to even uh, earn some money make some money we used a test pad to test one of the cars and that's it now we have our beautiful mazda that is sitting here but this one will take time and you know we will do that at some other point i also want to show you how to take engines uh, with engine crane but we have a few minutes more and that's going to be uh, done some other time okay so let's uh, bring this episode to the end and you see uh, quarter ninjas layer it's a very nice banner and you know where you are exactly when you look in front of you uh, as always uh, please if you like this what i'm doing you know click the like button and subscribe please uh, i hope that's not a big deal for you but it is a big deal for me uh, also i would like to see and to hear from you in the comments below uh, what do you like about these playthroughs uh, what you don't like maybe um, do you have some advices of your own and please write them down because other players read that and you know maybe you will help not only me with advice but to other guys and girls that are playing uh, this game what i'm uh, specifically interested at uh, you know to hear from you is uh, about the cars you like and more specifically about the cars you don't like because we all have some cars that are really uh, we are not liking for uh, one reason uh, or another also what uh, do you drive uh, what car do you have do you enjoy it you know how it feels 
and uh, the thing that we all think about you know what you would like to buy and i would say you know we all want to buy ferraris and lamborghinis and maybe you know rolls royce or whatever but what would you like to buy uh, based on actually real life opportunities what do you think you might get and what is that car that maybe in a year or two or six months or two years you would be able to get and you always wanted you know for some people that is i don't know bmw m3 for example or something like that for some people that is some beautiful station wagon because they have big family and you know for some people it is a nice track where they can drop the deer and you know when they go to hunt and stuff like that so that's about it uh, this episode was very very nice i think we pushed everything to the limits we got from level 17 to level 20 we unlocked some useful skills use repair bench for the first time really efficiently you know to earn some money back we sold by mistake all 100 percent parts so that can happen to you be careful not a big deal actually just the money and we have it more than enough 277,000. so i'm not bothered uh, a bit with that uh, what else? Nothing special. I will see you in episode 7. We will uh, keep pushing forward at least, you know, to get to level 30 where we have all these great new add-ons which we will enjoy together. And we will try to, you know, um, do some other stuff uh, later, you know, to do some restorations and maybe something more enjoyable. So I will see you next episode. Until then, please, you know, enjoy life, go outside, uh, have fun, drive your car, I don't know, do something you like and uh, have a really, really good day. I see you next episode. Bye-bye uh, and have a good one. Please subscribe to this channel. Share and like this video. Thank you.